This is what youngsters call the save icon. And it's a Lego set from a design from Build a Mock. Bought this with my own funds. And I found it rather hilarious that a whole generation of adults actually calls this the save icon. I would actually call this a very life-sized mock-up, a bit, bit thicker. It's almost like a uh, zip drive, zip disk. A life-sized uh, mock-up of a uh, single density, no, a, a, a double density, uh, three and a quarter, no, not three and a quarter, three and a half inch floppy disk. The, the, the things that you would use on Amiga or an Atari ST or an XT PC holding no less, no more than 720 kilobytes of data. This is a three and a, a three and a half inch floppy disk. Not just the save icon, I'd say, but yeah, I'm old. Cool, isn't it? It's just this, this whole thing, they got it down. This little nook and the, uh, the locking hole and then the uh, right protect the, or, the, or the other way around. Now, uh, you know, this looks right. And it, I think this looks right. I think it's supposed to look like that and they go that way and then you just put them in like that. It's been such a long time I actually forgot, but it looks it looks very familiar. <laughs> when was the last time you used a floppy disk? Uh, I asked the wife. She looks at me, shakes her head, doesn't want to be in the video. It's been years, wasn't it? For me, it has been years. And um, the floppy disk, the grote platte. She's in. She's in. Yeah, we call this floppy disk. This this is uh, a three a three and a uh, three and a half inch floppy disk. They call it floppy disk because the disk inside is floppy, but the casing is not floppy. How do you call the the, the large floppy thing? disk? Yeah, floppy it's disk. a three and a, what is it? A five and a quarter inch. They use them with uh, PCs, old PCs, 160 kilobytes per side, or 360 if you had a double-sided one. Uh, yeah, you had they, they had eight-inch floppies as well. They are like like this big, like uh, the size of it, exactly the same. But they miniaturized them, and this is actually the uh, yeah. They at the end they became so unreliable. I remember writing my thesis and uh, writing uh, my thesis on a uh, on a PC with WordPerfect. You'd save your thesis, the file you'd save on a floppy. We did have a network, but the printer was not hooked up to the network. You actually had a, a, a printer uh, and a computer hooked up to that with a copy of WordPerfect. And uh, you would load in your, your file and then uh, WordPerfect would complain that the printer you used it wasn't the same as the printer that was installed on the PC, so your whole formatting could be changed or whatever. So it was always a good thing to copy off the printer files uh, off the uh, off the computer that had the printer, the laser printer, because if you copied those printer files in, in your WordPerfect directory, you'd be able to select them. And then if you were at home, you could actually work on your own PC or in your work PC, and then you would not have this 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 issue. But the thing is, even if you had to walk like 10 feet <laughs> from your computer, save it toward to the uh, to the printer uh, uh, computer, with um, the data on the disk would, would would be corrupt. Probably it was because uh, the, uh, the the floppy drive of the printer computer was just overused. You know, dirty floppies. And, and what have you. We blame the disks, but probably it was just a floppy drive of the printer. But we we used to call it like a decay time. <laughs> it, it's it's um, it's it's like a, a a science term for you know uh, decaying of, of radioactive isotopes and stuff. We we call that. We'd name this for these floppies. They they'd hold your data for just mere minutes, seconds. Just pop it in print your file because it would be lost and, and you would have multiple copies on the hard drive, but also multiple copies on various floppies. Oh gosh, it was a very um, 
I think I think I think actually printing it out on toilet paper was actually a better way to preserve it for eternity than saving it on one of these damn things. And I remember my Amiga eventually, you know, most of the games on, on disk I have for the Amiga, they won't load anymore. Uh, but that's because the drive actually was very dirty and I cleaned it and then I got a GoTech and then, well, no, no, no more of these floppies for the most part. But isn't it cool? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just the same size, a bit thicker, but it's actually so cool, this. Very cool. So the save icon for the people who didn't work with uh, Amiga, Atari ST, early PCs, dial-up modems. This was a huge amount of data. 720 kilobytes, or the, the AD version, uh, which often was just a black disk with different holes. They have a hole over here as well. Uh, they would hold a whopping 1.44 megabytes of data. And I remember with the onset of the first digital cameras, um, the resolution of the cameras was just very low, but when they came into the megapixel range, this trusted, um, uh, what is it, data storage medium became obsolete almost overnight because it would not hold a single megapixel or two megapixel uh, photo anymore. Well, because of JPEG compression, things actually, uh, uh, they, they managed to keep, uh, well, they managed to hold on a bit longer because that was a time when most of these digital cameras only saved in JPEG, right? I mean, the raw format that was only reserved for like uh, the Canon D and all these higher end, uh, higher end uh, digital cameras, you know, the raw format. Of course, you would never be able to store that on one of these. You'd have a, a gigabytes of data on an, on you know one of these. Uh, oh gosh, compact flash or uh, SD cards, and you had a, a mirage of of different formats. I remember uh, at least having a camera. They had a, a little a little SD card which was very fast, but it was only you could only read it in a in a specific reader, and I had none of my other systems ever used that card. I, I'm I'm not sure. We still have the camera, but I'm I'm really not sure what it was called. It's like a, it had a a bowed surface on one end, and it was a bit wider than an SD card, one of these mini SD cards. But it was just a weird rectangular bowed thing. Really weird. Yeah. Anyways, the save icon.